Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty. I'm back here with another video. In this video today, I'm going to be going over my favorite 10 cards for under the 20,000 MT price range. And so, they're not going to be ranked in order from best to worst, you know, best for their value, worst for their value. They're just going to be on a list. So, my first, the first few guys are at under 5K. Then we're just going to go straight down the list and from least expensive to most expensive. But these 10 are my top 10 under 20k for their specific value if you are new to my channel and haven't died yet please smash the subscribe button as we're on the road to 35,000 subscribers so starting the list off for me we're gonna get a, a few ruby players the first one for me and maybe one of my maybe my favorite guy on the list is bruce bowen when you look at bruce bowen here for 4k mt 88 three ball 65 driving done can't really handle the ball but he has an 88 three ball hot spots from a lot of places around the arc i think four to five places 96 perimeter defense 78 steel or 78 speed that's the one downfall of bruce i wish he was just a little bit faster but he also has that 98 lateral look at this look at his driving dunk tendency which is an 80 on ball steel tendency is a a 78 as well as just a ton of other great defensive stats looking at the badge here gold catch and shoot quarter specialist pickpocket pick dodger clamps intimidator hot zone hunter you know just a ton of badges that you really love to see from ruby bruce bowen honestly when you compare bruce bowen with a lot of these players on the list i don't know i like bruce bowen maybe even more than some of the players that are eight nine ten thousand mt so for a very very cheap price ruby, Bo ruby bruce bowen is a great option the next player on my list is another ruby for that same kind of price range in ruby eric gordon as you guys can see right around that 4k price range as well 93 three ball 70 driving dunk 86 ball handle does give you a little bit different things completely different than a bruce bowen with eric gordon he's going to be better on the offensive end better playmaker 75 perimeter defense though does come with a 92 speed so a lot faster than bruce bowen but only a 75 lateral quickness so like i said complete opposite type of players 85 driving dunk tendency for eric as well as looking at his defensive tendencies which aren't very good badge wise for gordon 14 gold badges is this base card 14 gold badges that's actually a ton of badges for him catch and shoot quarter specialist difficult shots consistent finisher pro test slithery finisher downhill space creator stop and go volume shooter as well as the silver range extender and green machine so just as his base card i'm not going to be talking about upgrading you know a lot of these cards because you're not going to want to have to spend a ton of mt doing so but just his base card especially on the offensive end is very very elite for a great budget price the third and last budget option under 5k we're gonna go with ruby byron scott here all these guys are under 5k great great budget options with byron scott obviously i think it's important to to get try to find ones that that has those extra badges but byron has a 92 three ball 80 driving dunk 86 bundle 84 steel 84 perimeter defense 86 speed and 86 lateral quickness so you had eric gordon you had uh, you had the Eric Gordons of the world, obviously. You had the Bruce Bowens of the world. Byron Scott is kind of in the middle of both of them. Kind of a more balanced type of player. Looking at the 12 badge, he does have catch and shoot corner specialist, green machine, hot zone hunter, uh, slippery off ball, Tyler shooter, and volume shooter. So he only comes with 12. Obviously, Eric Gordon's more complete off rips. But the thing I like about Byron Scott is the fact that you can give him clamps, you can give him quick first step, and you can give him range extender. So when you put all of those on Byron Scott, obviously he can become absolutely incredible. But still, the base Byron Scott card for under 5K is a great option. Next players are obviously all going to be over that 5K budget, starting with Andrew Wiggins. Now, if you guys watch my Andrew Wiggins gameplay, you definitely know what Andrew Wiggins can do on the basketball court. I absolutely love this card. Kind of a mini LeBron James in a sense. He doesn't come with a lot of badges, but what he does come with is an 82 three ball, a great release, 92 driving dunk, and a decent enough defender. 88 speed, 85 lateral quickness. And driving dunk tendency is a 95, which is just absolutely ridiculous. If you're looking for a LeBron James card and can't afford it, just pick up Andrew Wiggins, to be honest with you. Four gold badges, pogo stick, fast break finisher, showtime, so they finisher six on silver, including pig dodger, and does come with the bronze clamps. Let's compare him to, let, let's see what, let's see what his, what his upgradable badges are. I'm going to show him, not that that matters that much he can obviously get the clamps can't get range extender but if you wanted to really make andrew wiggins into a, like a super super good player you obviously could put the clamps on him and make him even more complete but even as his base card without upgrading any badges he is very very usable the next budget option is is a center in rafe lafrenz now i don't absolutely love rafe i've used him a couple of times but i don't hate him either rafe is just 
kind of that serviceable type of big man. This one has an extra Hall of Fame badge. Okay, let's just see. Let's just see what somebody put on Rafe. Lob City finisher. Imagine applying a Hall of Fame badge to a guy like Rafe LaFrance. But let's just look at his base card. 89 three ball. He is 6'11. 70 driving dunk. Can to the ball. 82 interior defense. 79 block. Decent rebounded. 54, 59 speed with that 41 lateral quickness. So on the defensive end, you know he's going to be a liability, but look at the badges. Catch and shoot, corner specialist, drop stepper, moving truck, worm, pick and roller, flexible release, green machine, volume shooter, brick wall, seven silver badges, box, rebound chaser, hot zone hunter. So he comes with some very, very good badges, no doubt about it. And then just look at the upgradable badge. You can apply, you know, obviously some of the badges to him that will make him even better. Now, a lot of them aren't really that useful, but upgrading, obviously, the rebound chaser box could definitely make Rafe even better. But for a center, for if you're looking for a stretch big, Rafe LaFrance is exactly that. Getting into another big here in Andrea Bargnani, uh, basically pretty similar player to Rafe. I mean, they are very, very similar players. Bargnani is 10,000 MT. Is this is, I don't think it's a snipe because I think he's right around this price. Yeah, 10,000 MT. Now this one obviously has an extra gold badge, but looking at Barg's base card here, seven feet tall 87 three ball can't handle the ball 85 block 83 interior good decent enough rebound at 66 speed and a 52 lateral quickness so in my opinion just a better basically a better version of rafe at least statistically wise looking at the badges here uh 15 gold badges 12 on silver four on bronze gold catch and shoot relentless finisher moving truck worm pick and roller green machine hot zone hunter tyler shooter volume shooter and brick wall 12 silver badges box rebound chaser post move lockdown with four on bronze, including the bronze range extender. Bargnani can't get any other badges, but you can upgrade the ones he has, at least at least some of the ones he has. So if you really wanted to max Barg out, you could give him, you know, mid to upper 20s gold badges, and he could be very, very solid. These next few players are going to be just over that 10k range, starting with Larry. Now, now when I start talking about Larry, trust me, this card is good in the hands of anybody. If you're just new to the game, don't really know how to do it, and you're looking for a great budget option, pick up Larry. He will dunk on everybody. 69 three ball, 95 driving dunk, 84 ball handle. Great defender as well. 64 steel, 82 perimeter defense, 83 interior defense. Great rebounder. 87 speed and the 85 lateral quickness. The only downfall to Larry is the fact that his three ball isn't super high, but still from the corners with his good release, you're gonna be able to knock it down. 70 almost steel tendency, 95 driving dunk tendency look at the badges here hall of fame showtime a very very important badge 15 gold badges acrobat lob city finisher pickpocket pick dodger pogo stick and just a ton of finishing badges even comes with the silver clamps and quick first step so if you're looking you know for that type of all-around player larry's a great guy he can also get any badge in the game basically so that's kind of what to know if you want to put interceptor intimidate on him you guys do it but even as a base card one of the best amethysts in the game Larry Keenan. At the point guard position, we got a guy at this similar price level in Ricky Rubio. Now, Ricky, when I, when he first came out, I was like, wow, there's no way he is this good. 83 ball, can't dunk, but still comes with a 90 ball handle, 90 steel, 81 perimeter defense, 92 speed, speed of ball acceleration with that 88 lateral quickness. Now, tendency-wise, obviously, he can't dunk, and, and let's see what his on-ball steel tendency is a 74, so that's not bad at all he comes with one hall of fame badge 15 on gold eight on silver and one on bronze he comes with hall of fame flash passer i personally don't use it but some people do if you use flashy passer that on hall of fame can be tough if you use it the right way does come with gold dimer pickpocket pick dodger bailout downhill needle third quick first step and floor general eight silver badges catch and shoot clamps tireless defender handles for days space grader and stop and go with the bronze corner specialist now that's just the badges he has obviously if you if you want to you can put some badges on him imagine putting showtime on a guy that can't dunk but he can get range extender and upgraded clamps so when you really fully badge out ricky rubio he can be an absolute dog now obviously you got to take into consideration his dribble sigs what his release looks like and everything like that but even if they give him maybe the one of the a, a not very good release not very good triple six ricky rubio is still going to be usable even if ricky rubio did not have a good release which he does have a good release he has i'm trying to think of, of what it is that it's not the the kenny smith type release i'm pretty sure is the same one on ricky rubio very good release so if you put randy center on him he is going to be very very solid the second to last player on the list for under 15k 15k or under you guys see what i see yes I could have sniped him for 15K. Richie Guerin. I think he's 16K. It's not like it would have been a snipe, but 86 three ball, 80 driving dunk, 
86 ball handle, 88 perimeter defense, 89 speed with the 87 lateral quickness. In my opinion, very comparable to Ricky Rubio. The one thing Richie can do is he can dunk the ball compared to Ricky Rubio who can't. And he also has basically the same steal tendency as a Ricky Rubio type card. Does come with slithery finisher, 25 gold badge including catch and shoot corner specialist, relentless finisher, interceptor, downhill, needle threader, space creator, stop and go, unpluckable, flexible release, green machine, hot zone hunter, tireless shooter, volume shooter, also comes with the silver clamps. Looking at the badges you can give Richie, obviously you can make Richie into an absolutely incredible player on both ends of the court. If you really want to max him out, apply a quick first step, handles for days, Obviously, those two are very, very important. And then on the defensive end, Intimidator, uh, Pick Dodger, some stuff like that, Dimer maybe, can make him even better. But if you're looking for just a complete point guard, listen, he comes, his base card comes with 29 badges. You really can't complain with Richie Guerin. Now, my final player, the most expensive, is Michael Cooper. I swear he was 10K the other day, maybe even 8K. And just over the course of the week, his price has just gradually gone up. He's still under that 20k mark 19,000 mt but it is absolutely crazy what people are willing to pay for cooper it's not crazy though because he is still good for that price 83 three ball 84 driving dunk 95 perimeter defense 85 steel 80 speed with a 95 lateral quickness tendency wise for cooper an 85 driving dunk tendency look at his on ball steel tendency which isn't great at a 48 badge wise hall of fame clamps very very crucial very important badge but look at the shooting badges catch and shoot corner specialist as well as the defensive badges pickpocket pick dodger chase down artist pretty underrated badge this year in my opinion for how many rim running point guards there are in the game right now also comes with gold interceptor lightning reflexes off ball pest tyler's defender trapper fast break finisher showtime an underrated badge and slippery off ball so he comes with a ton of other defensive badges comes with one of the best releases in the game and gold catch and shoot which is so so undervalued guys that is going to wrap it up for my 10 best budget cards for under 20,000 k mt i just went in order i didn't rank them but you guys kind of got to prioritize is michael cooper better for his budget than an eric gordon is is byron scott better for his budget than a richie Gordon? that's what you guys are going to have to ask yourselves come depending on how much mt you guys are willing to spend remember it is always important to try to find one on the actual auction house that is badged out that way you do not have to spend M any mt on badges guys i hope you guys did enjoy the video drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new comment anyone down below that i just missed out on as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day